Hi everyone, I've got a short demonstration to share with you today using envelopes to make gift bags and party favor bags. What's great about this project is you can use any size of envelope that you have. Sometimes you can go to an office supply store and ask if you can purchase their uh, surplus envelopes that they might have left over from um, greeting cards because sometimes greeting cards get damaged and they can't sell them but they'll have the leftover envelopes and they might sell them to you or just look around your house you probably have some stashed away somewhere but any size envelope will work so I'm going to work with this red one here and the first thing you need to do is you're going to lick it and seal it closed and now we're going to um, decorate it you know if you want to uh, I don't know, add some punched out shapes or I'm going to stamp mine. I'm going to stamp it with some little snowflakes here. Just a few snowflakes. Okay. And now we're going to um, cut off one of the ends and you can use um, decorative scissors to do that. You can use a punch this is the scallop punch from Stampin' Up. Or you can just use your regular paper cutter, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, depending on how tall you want your gift bag or is uh, where you are going to cut off the top, I'm just going to cut it off about an inch. Um, you can cut more or less, whatever suits your needs. Okay, so there you have it. You have one end that's been cut and opened, and the other ends are still all intact. Okay, now if you have a score pal, it works really great for this. If not, uh, just get a metal edge ruler and uh, make your uh, marks where you want your score lines and uh, your score blade and make those. Now, again, depending on how deep you want your uh, gift bag, that's where you make your score lines. Um, you can make them at a half an inch, one inch, three-fourths inch, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to make my score marks at one inch. And so you need a score mark on all uh, three edges that are still closed. So the two sides and the bottom are where you're going to be making your score marks. So I, as you can see, I've made my score marks on this side, this side, and along the bottom. And I didn't make any up here where my envelope opens. Okay, so I'm only getting little white prints because I didn't let my ink dry because I was using crafting, but that, that's okay. Okay, so I'm also going to just fold it there on those score lines I just made just to kind of make it easier to fold later. Now you're going to open it up, put your hand in here, okay, and you're going to just kind of squeeze those corners and make uh, little triangles or, I don't know, it almost looks like little cat ears to me. And then um, fold this middle fold in and then these two score marks that you made you can fold along that okay fold the middle one in and then just crease along the score marks that you made okay so it should look something like this and now we're just going to put a little adhesive on those cat ears and fold them in And there you go. Essentially, you're done. Um, you can add a handle to this. You can maybe use some raffia or some ribbon. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. So I'm punching a couple of holes to run my pipe cleaner through. Stick that in there. Bring it around. Stick it through my other hole. And there we go. It's all done. Isn't that cute? So easy to do. Okay, let me show you a few that I've made. Um, here's two that I made with just a regular, they're pretty thin, but they're made with just a regular business, number 10 business envelope. Um, the reason I just stippled some color on here, and as you can see, I cut the top with decorative scissors, and I added some ribbon for a little handle on this. Um, it's real cute, you can put in a little uh, sachet or a a little tea, couple of tea bags and send them. Um, real easy to make. So there's the back of them so you can see the envelope part. Okay, those are just uh, two, two made out of simple number 10 business envelopes. Okay, here's a couple more. 
lay this one down here. Um, this one is like, I don't know, you can put treats in it for your trick-or-treaters. I made this enclosure. It's just a wooden bead that um, that I just put a couple holes and strung on the top and then I made a little loop out of another piece of string and it just uh, folds over. Oops. Folds over like that. Here's a little Christmas themed one. Took pinking shears to the top of this one. Um, and here is one uh, for a gift bag for a birthday gift. And again I made another uh, same idea with a button and a little loop of string. So they're very easy to make. Uh, you can use any size of envelope and uh, can be used for party favors or gift bags, just all kinds of things these can be used for.